with more and more hype going towards Marvel live action TV on Hulu, a lot of people are speculating that Blade is right around the corner, specifically with some recent trademarks and Hulu wanting, well, a lot of Marvel properties. So let's talk about what's happened, what might be getting teased, and what the future could be. So for a long time subscribers of this channel, you'll know I absolutely love Blade. That's one of the characters that really um, got me into comic book anything, really. Um, after I saw him in the uh, Saturday morning cartoons from the mid-90s Spider-Man, I wanted to find out more, and little did I know, a movie was coming out. The sequel, Blade 2, one of my all-time favorite comic book films of all time, so naturally, I'm super excited for more Blade, but not a whole lot has happened. Recently, of course, Hulu announced, well, they're going to be producing some Marvel TV series. Not just cartoons, but also the likes of Ghost Rider and Hellstrom, so things are moving in a uh, great direction. And of course, what else was discovered recently was the filing trademarks for Glyph and The Spirits of Vengeance. Now, The Spirits of Vengeance, for those of you that don't know, is an actual team in the comics. Uh, they're quite recent, maybe within the last two and a half years, and essentially this version united Alstrom and Ghost Rider Robbie Reyes and of course Blade was a part of that. Now I'm not saying Blade is guaranteed with this but it would make a lot of sense and we know that there's been a lot of stuff that's been happening behind the scenes with Blade particularly in the comics with him kind of getting pushed back out there because there is a demand. At the same time Kevin Feige's you know openly talked about hey Blade yeah we're aware people want that character um Things are in motion, but you never know what could happen. And realistically, I think what they're doing is just kind of waiting. They're playing the waiting game because it is something you can't just toss out there, right? Like, there's a certain amount of production and money you can allocate to certain things. And obviously, Ghost Rider already had a built-in fan base. And with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. not using them anymore, he's clearly one that's available for that. And from what we know before was the fact that Ghost Rider was actually supposed to go to Netflix at some point. They were trying to work out a deal, but then the whole Netflix cancellations thing, so that was kind of held back. So it makes sense why he's going out there, and it makes sense why they're using the other characters. At the same time, if they follow the core approach to the likes of the Spirits of Vengeance, Blade would be rather important, and it's not like he would be out of the realm of possibility, if that makes sense. Uh, you know, he totally fits into that darker, more mystic, more mythical world. And I, I think the challenge they're having right now is where exactly in the MCU do you put this dude and reveal that vampires and all these secret societies and stuff live? And I think that's honestly the hardest part. It was easier to do it in the Blade standalone movies because he's the only hero there. There's no you know Spider-Man swinging around. But the moment Blade is in New York with half the Avengers that are still out there and Spider-Man and all these other characters, it starts to, you know, ask a bunch of questions that they can't directly answer. So I think that's really what's happening. And realistically, I'm expecting within the next three years, we're getting Blade. He's going to Hulu. That's more or less something you can bet on. But I think they have to wait and play their cards right. And that's the kind of the unfortunate part. We're waiting for what we know is coming, but they can't confirm it yet. So, it's just kind of wait and see.